Hi, Robert Hammond here. I'm an agronomic solutions advisor with BSF covering Northeast North Dakota. I am standing in a uh, canola field just east of Langdon, North Dakota with our senior agronomy advisor, Jordan Varberg. And uh, one thing we're gonna talk about today is we're getting closer to combining season, season, one of the most exciting times of the year. And as the canola is getting closer to that, we have a lot of guys straight cutting um, since they use our Invigor pod chatter reduction trait. But one thing that comes with that is when we look at a field, we'll have some plants that look like this that are still green and have quite a ways to go before they're ready for combining. Then other parts of the field where they're much farther along will be able to be combined much sooner. So which one do we wait for or what, what do we do on, on deciding when we're gonna go combine that field or when it's gonna be ready to be combined? Right, Rob, we, we get that question once in a while on, on canola because you know, you know, now that growers can straight cut their canola, they're wondering, how do I cut it? When do I cut? Well, how should I be going out there? And if I have areas within the field that are wetter or greener, uh, I can maybe just cut around them and leave them and come back later and harvest them, just like you would a wheat field. So it's really made it nice with the Invigor Pod Shatter trait. You don't have to worry about losing that canola in the field. It's gonna stay there uh, for most part, unless you have some really extreme weather events happen. But they can do it just like they combine a field of wheat. So if they have the pot shatter reduction trait, do they get any gains from it being able to sit out in the field a little bit longer? They do get a little bit of a gain because, you know, they, they can gain a little bit of test weight because you're not cutting the plant off. And so you can gain a little bit of yield just by the increased test weight of the canola seed itself. And also it can increase the amount of oil that's within the canola seed as well. So. All right, well, thank you very much, Jordan. And if anybody would like any more information on that, please feel free to contact your local BSF representative and they'd be happy to help you out.